I'm in awe every day when I think about what my parents did and the other pioneers of what they accomplished. They have no farming background, no winemaking background, no business background, and yet they were able to create an industry where the wines are sold in London and they're actually asked for. Bringing the people behind our food to life. A lot of sweat equity was put into the operation and allowed us to have the opportunity to be second generation uh, wine growers, um, which were Alice and I, and we know our older brother are grateful for. Through the course of a lot of different family discussions, uh, we decided that Alex and I would be co-presidents, that if we could, we each have different strengths, we each have different weaknesses and different areas of interest, uh, and we really complement each other quite a bit. I think our greatest success will be playing our cards right, like our parents did, to be able to have the third generation be a part of the business. Our tenure here is, okay, we're stewards of the business now. What can we do to leave it in better shape than we found it and expose the third generation to the point where they feel a part of it as well? I never felt like our parents pressured us to get into the business. And there was, there was always the expectation that we would work and that we would contribute, but not the expectation that we would take over and run the business. So I'd like to think that we have that same Yep. expectation of the third generation and there are Alex has kids I have a child and then our older brother Nick has kids too the expectation is that they will participate they're gonna learn they're gonna learn to work uh, and if they show an interest we will do what we can to cultivate and encourage that but I don't I'm not I don't want to force anybody to uh, to take over for us I'd like to think that of the of the group there'll be somebody interested but I don't want to push it on them <laughs>